Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are playing a super scary indie horror game called Quiet Basement. Now this game honestly doesn't appear as much, like this is the beginning of the game, there's no title screen. You cannot pause the game and there's no way to adjust any settings, you just go straight into the game. So it's a little bit underwhelming at first, but from what I've heard, this is quite the little playthrough. So grab a cat, grab a snack, throw it up. Well, throw the cat on your lap, not the snack. Well, you could throw the snack on your lap too, but get cozy, get settled in, plug in some headphones, and I am not even joking, turn them all the way up because this is gonna be quite a ride. Let's dive right in. Oh. Okay, we are in the basement. Looks a little shabby. That's okay. Oof. I don't think I can go back out. Nope, I cannot. Okay, looks like a flashlight. Oh. Can I grab you? No, I cannot. Okay. No flashlight for me. Who's there? Monopoly City. Now, I don't think there's much to this little game. I think it's more of just a walkthrough. All right, so this is a PT style loop around game, obviously, because <laughs> we have done the loop de loop back down to the basement. You already know shit's about to hit the fan. Don't make a sound. Something will fall. And there's no like cursor to this game. You can't really grab anything or pick anything up, which is kind of interesting. I didn't even see this door. Alright, let's make our rounds again, I guess. Um, damn, what is in there? Okay, whatever's in there probably should just stay in there. I definitely have chills all over my body right now. Go 
going back around again. Honestly, with some TLC, this would be such a cute little hangout. Right? Like, get some rugs, some lamps, couch, L-shaped couch. Am I missing something? Let's go back down. Maybe I'm supposed to find a key or something. Ah! Oh. You have to just zoom in on it. Do I even want to unlock it? Honestly. How do I unlock it? Oh, the key, I think, is just for the door, right? Okay, let's go see if it works for the door. What? What do you mean? They just got out? Stop. I'm so scared right now. What is it? Gosh, I actually have freaking chills all over my body. What is that? Did they pee all over the floor? Because they were trapped in here? Oh my gosh. I can't see anything. Where are they even? They gotta know I'm down here. Shit, okay. Were there more things over on this wall that I missed? Hello? Nothing. You know what? I'm sure whatever was in there was just trying to get out. You know, I don't blame them for bursting through. They're not the enemy. Um, what? 
the hell was that? gosh why oh my gosh I literally have the atmosphere in this is Phenomenal. Oh, I missed that key. It is so fucking tense. I am so fucking tense right now. A raccoon, you know? I'm imagining the worst, but maybe it was just a little raccoon. Just a little pest. That's not a raccoon. What the hell is that? What do I do? I'm going back. Going back. Please let me out. I don't want to go back out the other way. No. What is that? It looked like a praying mantis person. Oh my word. over here. Oh my gosh. My body feels like a glow stick that needs to be cracked. Just so stiff. Liquid's just swirling around. Someone just needs to just snap me. Oh shoot, the basement's filling up with water. to stop the water somehow or just let it go nobody wants their basement flooded is this her house the praying mantis lady because i don't know i feel bad it's expensive to replace the basement a Mr. Key. Or maybe the key's not there the first time. That would make sense because I literally never see it. Let's 
see it over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I see. What's all the stomping? Is that me? I think that's me stomping. That's weird. Am I supposed to go over here? Oh, that's not a room. Okay, I thought that was a room. What was that? My gosh. Oh my gosh, there's so much water. It's literally like halfway up my body. Oh my word. Oh my gosh, how would you get rid of get rid of all that water though? Whoever lives here, do they know the water is going to ruin their basement? Like, why do I feel so concerned about the damage it's going to do? I don't know. I feel bad. Ah, missed a key. the heck am I supposed to find the key now? Everything's like covered. Oh. That was so good.
Literally, I had medium expectations, you know, based on the beginning, I wasn't sure, but that was so good. It was really creepy to hear the water, someone splashing around in the water and not know who it was or what it was, or if they were gonna, you, you don't even see them the whole game, which is the amazing part. You don't even see the enemy, you just know that they're there and they're lurking. Oh my gosh. Ma, 10 out of 10, that was so great. I would love a full game. The problem with a lot of these indie games is I think what makes it so scary and such a great experience is it is so short and you just get terrified for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then it's over. I do think it's difficult to make it a full game and keep the scare factor the same throughout, but I would love a full game because that was so good. I had chills up my spine the entire time. Ah, uh, so good. I hope you guys like that too. If you like this type of content, hit subscribe. You know, I come out with videos every single day. And, um, I love getting scared and I hope you love getting scared along with me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.